Hello everyone, this is G and I'm back with the second video of the day. Now this one is really serious, so I'm going to try to keep it brief because I think it speaks for itself. You know how I've often referred to politicians as elected oppressors uh, when it comes to um, real world issues like with the riots last year that are still going on, but they're not as prominent in the news, right? I... I try not to touch too much upon these things, but I do make videos about them every once in a blue moon, and I've made videos recently about how here in New York City, they are, they've opened some pop-up sites at the subway station, right, at some subway stations, I should say, to try to convince people to get vaccinated, and um, now apparently Bill de Blasio, elected oppressor mayor Bill de Blasio, has... Um, he was on the press conference or the TV, whatever it was, right? And he's eating um, Shake Shack. He's eating Shake Shack fries, and he's trying to use that, right, as as a way to entice people to to get the vaccine, right? Go to get the vaccine and, and you know, get food at Shake Shack. And now, apparently, there's some place, I forget exactly where, but there's some place that's offering, apparently, a literal lottery, right? One million dollars, <laughs> One million dollars for people who get the vaccine. <coughs> now, here's the thing. This is President Biden's um, Twitter account, right? This is the official president of the United States Twitter account. Because I saw this as a screenshot from, I think, Breaking 911. And I was like, hold up. I got to make sure. I got to check and see if this is actually doctored. So, I looked up... Uh, the POTUS account, and this is it, this is the actual POTUS account, right, President of the United States, right, the person who's, who's often considered by many, not by all, right, American foreign affairs are always a, or rather America and its involvement in foreign affairs are always a very uh, touchy subject, but the American president, whomever that person is, is often considered to be the leader of the free world, right, so, the president, President Joe Biden, right? The president who supposedly won the election all fair and square, right? There was no cheating, there was no collusion, there was no lying, was completely on the up and up, so, so his supporters say, right? The same guy who, when he was running, you know, was accused of racism, was high-key accused of racism by the same woman who would eventually become his VP, and this is the same guy who came on a on I think it was Charlemagne the the God's uh, uh, podcast or whatever it was, and most infamously said that if um, what's what I'm looking for that uh, uh, if you don't vote for him right if you're black and you don't vote for him right well then you ain't black well I guess I I lost half of my racial identity because I didn't vote for him or anybody but. This man is the president. This man is president now. And he writes here, and you can see this was only about, an, about what, an hour ago? It's, it's, it was at 4.12 this afternoon. Right now in New York City, it's 5.22 p.m., so a little over an hour ago. May 13th, 20, 2021, from the White House. Again, the seat of government in a first world nation that is often, not always, but often considered to be the leader of the free world. And it says, the rule is now simple. Get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do. The choice is yours. This is not a choice. This is what's called the illusion of choice. Because for many people, these are two options that they don't want to have to choose between. There are many people who don't want to wear the mask because they feel that it's a symbol of oppression or that their rights are being uh, trampled upon or, or whatnot. And there are people like myself who don't want to get vaccinated because I'm not quite sure about the vaccine. As, I, as I've said in several videos, I'm particularly concerned about how it affects blood, right? Especially in, 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 in a woman, right? In particular with blood clots. So now... The president of the United States is telling his countrymen, regardless of whether they voted for him or not, right? 
He's telling a nation of 330 million plus people that are accounted for. Let's be honest, there's more than that in this country because there are millions upon millions of people who are undocumented for various reasons. But he's telling a nation of 330 million plus people that their options are to get vaccinated or to wear a mask until they do. This is the illusion of choice. This is not a choice, right? More importantly, this is what a dictator says. This is what dictators say. This is what elected oppressors say, right? Do you want to die by firing squad or do you want to die by the electric chair, right? Neither one, right, is exactly all that, uh, uh, what's what I'm looking for, desirable, right? Because they're both going to end up in your death. <laughs> so it's really the illusion of choice. And this is the illusion of choice here. Get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do. Both of these, right, trying to force vaccinations, not just encourage what they've been trying to do. And there's been flat out bribery in some people. But now trying to force people to either get vaccinated or to wear a mask. Both of which result in the violation of personal choice as regards uh, one's personal health care. That's the issue here. Both of these are undesirable to, to a lot of people who feel that neither um, option is appropriate for them, right? This takes away your ability or at least it attempts to take away, I should say, your ability to decide for yourself what is best for you, for you and for your loved ones. So, someone help me. Someone tell me again how the President of the United States threatening his country, putting out an illusion of choice, and demanding that people do what or the other, Tell me again how this is supposed to help the public health. How is this supposed to make the U.S. as a country healthier? How is it supposed to unite and heal the wounds of division that have been going on for years now? Because I don't see how this helps anything. I don't see it. Because guess what? There are people who have respiratory issues or whatnot, or just, again, don't want to wear the mask because they, they feel so... Think about it for a moment. This proves the people who are very adamant about not wearing the mask right because a lot of them have been saying that it's a violation of our rights, right? As American citizens, right? Our right to to uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right? Our, our right to choose for ourselves, right? To not have the government force things upon us. So those, so this tweet, whether President Biden realizes it or not or cares or not, actually proves the anti-maskers as they're often labeled right, because you are now trying to force mask wearing. You are trying to force it. So the ones who were saying that this is a symbol, um, that the mask, I should say, is, is a symbol of oppression and is a violation of my rights and I shouldn't have to do this, Right? You are proving them right. You are, uh, you are actually proving their argument correct. I know some people have been talking about, well, we need a civil war, we need this, we need that. Those people might, 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 it might happen. It really might happen. I don't want it to happen, but it really might happen because this is such, this is such a gross in your face example of government overreach. This is again, this is the president of the United States threatening his country. Because believe me, give him a few more days, give him a little more time, and guess what's gonna happen? Guess what is going to happen? It'll go from the rule is now simple, get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do, the choice is yours. It's gonna go from that to the rule is simple, get vaccinated or else.
I've said oftentimes that, you know, uh, New York City is becoming a miniature version of Canada with the draconian measures up there. If you follow the Viva Phrase channel, you'll you'll know what I mean. Well, now it's 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 not just a state. It's not just a particular state or city. Right now, it's the federal government. Now, of course, realistically, we'll have to see how this actually plays out because the U.S. is very complex in its government system, right? And then there's the federal law, and then there's state law, and there are many states that have have eased up on their uh, restrictions. There are there are many states, such as Florida, and many others. I think the state of Texas also who have pretty much, you know. Um, done away with all of their COVID restrictions and social distancing and mask wearing and, and, and whatnot. So we'll see realistically how this plays out because, you know, I, I think especially those type of states, right, are definitely going to, you know, challenge this uh, uh, assertion from the head of the federal government, right? But still, regardless of how this plays out, He's already still said it. It's already out there in the public space. This is absolutely, in, in, in my opinion, this is absolutely terrifying that the president of the country would threaten his own people in this manner by giving them the illusion of choice, by taking away their autonomy, right? I, I usually say that I'm not surprised, and, and part of me is not surprised, and yet part of me is, because it's like, I, I guess I, you just never think that you're going to live to see this type of thing happen. It's like, you know it does, and you know it can, because you've read history, but to actually see it, it's a, it's a terrifying thing indeed. God help us all, is <laughs> pretty much all I have to say. But anyway, that's the video. Please let me know what you think, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day or night. Bye.